So now let's look at what happens when there's a subsidy. Now, for those of you who don't know, a subsidy is the polar opposite of a tax. So a tax is when you have to give the government money for making an, an item, but a subsidy is when the government gives you money if you make an item. So let's say there's a $4 subsidy in this market. Now what happens is instead of the supply curve, which is the cost of making the item, right, marginal cost, instead of that being higher, higher costs, now it's like it costs you less to make the item because the government's paying for part of it. So the supply curve moves downward physically by the amount of the subsidy. Now technically that's an increase in supply because it's moving to the right, but uh, to measure it accurately you want to shift it downward. So what we're going to do is every point we're going to move it down by the $4. So for example this point 100 comma 10 is going to now be 100 comma 6, just 4 down. This other point on the supply curve 130 comma 12 is going to be 130 comma 8 and so on. So we're going to shift that over here. So this is the new supply curve. And notice that the intersection now between supply and demand is over here. So that means that the new price is going to be $8 that the customer pays. So the customer's price, price for the customer, is $8. Notice that that's less than what they used to pay. So instead of 10, they're now only paying 8, which means that they're better off. But not by, their price didn't go down by the full $4 subsidy. So just like with the tax, it's kind of split. So the consumers are better off because they're only paying $8 and they're buying 130 items. But the producers, let's see, they're getting only 8 from their customers now, but they're also getting 4 from the government. So 8 plus 4 is 12. So that's the producer's price. The price for the producers is $12 instead of 10. So now, to look at what happens as far as CS and PS and how those change, well, let's see. As you'll see, they're going to overlap a little bit, so it's easier to just focus on the change in CS and change in PS rather than the, the new level of it. So let's just look at how much CS changes by. The CS, old CS used to be this much, right? Everything above $10 underneath the demand. But now, since they're only paying 8, it's everything above 8. So it goes up, increases by this much. This is the increase in the consumer surplus, increase in CS. Now to look at the increase in producer surplus, well, let's ignore this shaded region for now. So the old producer surplus, if you can visualize it, used to be this much, right? Everything below 10, above the original supply curve. And now it's everything below 12 because they're getting more money. So everything below here and above that. So that's going to increase by this amount. So overall, you might be wondering, wow, if CS and PS are both going up, is there like a dead weight gain or something instead of a dead weight loss? Well, keep in mind the one thing we have to subtract from the total surplus is the government's expenditure. Because the government does have to pay $4 a unit for 130 units. So we have to subtract from this 4 times 130 because that's how much the government spends. And Again, you might also be wondering, well, once we subtract that 4 times 130, what if that's less than how much these both are combined going up by? Then, you know, do we have a higher total surplus afterwards? Well, not really, because the amount that the government pays, 4 times 130, will be this much. So, because, and the reason is because this gap vertically from 8 to 12, that's 4 times the quantity of 130, that's a rectangle. Ah, so, you have to subtract that much out, that's how much the government pays. So when you get rid of that, well, you actually got rid of more than we added, right? So overall, with the subsidy, we gain this much for PS, this much for CS, but we lose even more than that. Uh, this Specifically, this triangle, that's how much more we lose. So that's how much the deadweight loss is, because overall, when the subsidy is implemented, the total surplus is that much less than before. One final thing to notice about the subsidy is, the new quantity in the market is higher than before. It went from 100 up to 130 in this case. For every other type of government intervention, whether it was a ceiling, a floor, a quota, or a tax, the quantity was lowered by the government intervention, but the subsidy is the only case where government intervention raises the quantity, but there's still a deadweight loss.